In 2020, I qualified for Capcom Cup, which is the World Championships of Street Fighter V. Unfortunately, Capcom Cup was canceled uh, due to the fact that it required offline play and uh, travel restrictions took place. But Capcom rescheduled it such that we would have a series of 12 exhibitions in which the uh, 20 qualifiers for Capcom Cup and 4 invitees would play against each other for money. Each winner of an exhibition match would win $5,000. That's a lot of money. So if I beat Samurai, I would win $5,000. And if he be beat me, that's $5,000 for him. The west coast of North America had two online qualifiers. Uh, that's the region in which I and Samurai reside. And our story begins at the first North America qualifier six months ago on August 16th of 2020, where I played Samurai in not one, not two, but three sets of Street Fighter V, where the winner would be the first qualifier for Capcom Cup from our region. So at the start of the day on August 16th, we had the bracket for top 8 in which I would be playing Samurai in Winner's Samais, the winner of which would move on in Winner's Bracket, the loser would get knocked down to Loser's Bracket. At one point in this set, I was up 2 to 0, but Samurai, he won like 6 rounds in a row with the arguably the cheapest move in the game, Akuma's EX Air Fireball. After being up 2-0, it was, it was not a good feeling for him to win two games straight and then just blast me in the face with that EX Air Fireball while I was trying to make a comeback. Um, but we'll see if in this round, maybe I can get something going. Maybe I can win this set and move on in winner's bracket. Tried to get through the Fireball, but Samurai uh, was a little too far. I reacted a little too late, and he's just zoning me out. This is kind of how the matchup goes. I gotta get around his fireballs. That was random! Can you imagine? I'm just trying to make a comeback. He doesn't air the air, he's negative. I can press a button, he just goes and EXDPs. Uh, but it's okay, I got a hit. Maybe I can still make this happen. Maybe I can, you know... Oh, he blocked my mix-up. That's messed up. Can I get through? I knew he was gonna do that. He's not gonna get me with another EX Fireball. I guarantee it. I need, like, one hit here. We're just gonna counter each other with projectiles, keep each other away. Yeah, and he uses the last enhanced fireball right there. No V trigger on either side, no V reversal on either side. I was trying to build a little meter right there. Get the EX. It's Didn't get it quite yet. Seconds. Oh, the what? The, the magic move! Jumping the EX fireball does it all! So now I was knocked into loser's bracket. I had to claw my way back. I had to beat several world class players. I beat Sam. Uh, I beat Snake Eyes in a close set. 3 to 2. I beat UYU's JB in a set 3 to 1. And I had to beat 801 Strider 3 to 1 to make it back to Samurai, where I would have to face him and defeat him in two more sets in order to claim my spot in Capcom Cup. In the first set of Grand Finals, I beat Samurai 3 to 0. But in the Man, second set, it came down to last game. In a close match. 2-2. Two to two. This is the last game. The winner qualifies for Capcom Cup. The loser gets nothing. In this cutthroat Capcom Cup qualifier match, only first place gets anything. First place qualifies for Capcom Cup. No money on the line. Second place gets absolutely zero dollars, zero cents. No spot in Capcom Cup. They just gotta try again next time. 20 seconds on the clock. I have a pixel of life left. Akuma has fireballs. I have no meter. How am I going to get in? How am I going to get through this wall of fireballs? I got a jump in. He has another EX air fireball catches me and then I throw my hail and I get clipped by a fireball. Kind of unfortunate, but I was in the zone at this point. It's it's me against him. It's the last game, last round. I've been playing for so long at this point. 
I've beaten so many players. I've beaten him 3-0 in the first set. We've played four more games at this point. I'm just so warm. It was actually like 90 degrees uh, in California that day. It was so hot. And this round, I just, it was a wash. The winner of this final round. Both of us are on match point in this first qualifier for Capcom Cup. There were two qualifiers for NA West. This was the first one on August 16th of 2020. Samurai was in winner's bracket, uh, where I had to win the first set 3-0. to zero, And uh, in this reset, it came down to last round, which we're seeing here. And I'm just getting zoned out right now. How am I going to make it back in? I need, I need some meter, I need something. But I'm down almost 50% of my life at this point. But I read, I read the most broken move in the game. He did air fireball, and that's how I found my way in. And I got that throw. If I don't drop this combo, I qualify for Capcom Cup. Samurai went on to win the second qualifier of North America West region. So we were the two qualifiers for Capcom Cup from North America West 2. Unfortunately, Capcom Cup did get canceled. So we have this exhibition match between us for $5,000, let me remind you. It was a battle, you could say, for best in the west coast of North America. He's always competitive. Wait, there's Over something that Samurai America. said He's somewhere else. in this interview. The very, very first time I played him, he actually told me that he was at a Geico tournament. And I, I totally forgot that he was there, but... Um, so there was a, a Geico tournament in 2017 in Season 2. Um, and I played Samurai in Casuals. We played like a 1st to 10 or a 1st to 15. It was like a long set. And he just forgot I was there. So much and I don't, and it's I don't understand how that happened. We went out to okay. eat after too. Samurai has kind of, kind of no, it wasn't a money match. Like it was a day before the tournament. It was like a, like we all qualified for the tournament through like an online thing. It was such a weird online thing that we qualified for it for. Um, but it was like 16 players I think that qualified. Uh, and then like, like they just had setups the day before and like I just sat down and played them. So it all comes FF down to this, Samurai. first FF to four, best Classic. of seven set, whoever wins this set gets $5,000, $5,000, and I came out here swinging, I came out with the life lead in this first game, light DP from Samurai, I expected him to do something like that eventually, but not in the first round. My game plan for this was to, you know, get around his fireballs, keep him in the corner as steve was saying i said that in my interview and i'm in a good position to win this round i just need to activate my v trigger two and get like two more throws i threw my ex hail um kind of wasted my meter there but that's okay because i can still take this i just need one more hit Samurai is random. He just did a crouching medium kick on wake up. And that's just unfortunate. That's something that I should not have gotten hit by. Um, I should have uh, backed up. I should have done like EX vanity step to get out of that or something. Because uh, there's just no reason I should stand up there and get hit by the crouching medium kick. So that's my fault. That's not really Akuma's fault. That was just my mistake. My bad. I gotta shake that off. This is a. This is only the first game. Only the first round of the first game. So I still. I still have a good chance. If I don't mess up and do like EX hands on block, you know. You're happy Colleen loses to Fireball's bad? Not anymore, baby. We got V Shift. You're gonna interrupt that? You're gonna interrupt the crouch. Yeah, that was messed up. He met. He interrupted my stand jab crouching medium punch. Watch this. Mmm. Chase down the back dash. And it's looking like I take this first round. So if I just win this next round, then the first round doesn't even matter when I was supposed to win. Because if I win this round, then it's still one to zero. I don't know why everyone hates on TikTok so much. 
So this kind of hurt. I'm in the corner now. Akuma in the corner, not a great place to be. I did the normal jump to catch him off guard. Normally, I'll do like the double jump to get out. Um, but if I mix up between the normal jump and the regular jump, then I get out of the corner easier. I caught him. So this was this was one of my things that I had studied or I had prepared going into this match. Um, I knew that when he's close to stun, he likes to go for EX Air Fireball. So I decided I would meaty him more, and I would back off and try to do EX Vanity through them. Um, I don't actually know. Everyone popped off here, but this actually wasn't a mix-up. That's clearly the front side. He's supposed to block the hail. He's supposed to block the hail, and then the mix-up is if I if I'm cross up or not. He didn't. He didn't get to the mix-up part. He just got hit. But that definitely felt good. Clean hit. Win the game. This is not very good position to be in. You know, Akuma got me in the corner. I have little life. He teched my throw. But I got something for that. I got a shimmy waiting for that. If he tried to tech another throw, trying to be random. Look at him fix his glasses. Samurai activates his V-Trigger. And this is not good. This is not good. I had no V-Trigger left, so it was definitely hard for me to win that round. Why tech when you have that much life? It's it's still a mix-up. You can't just always not tech. You have to tech sometimes. Because um, if calling back so throws you, it's still pretty bad. You're in a... You got a little bit of stun on you, and then... Um, she can dash in and mix up again. So it's definitely, you have to detect sometimes, but not every time. I'm using uh, stand roundhouse to try and crush counter a fireball. I probably should have confirmed into EX hands there, but I wasn't ready. I'm just standing here waiting for a jump out or something, trying to keep him in the corner, as is my strategy. Look for the shimmy again, he doesn't tech there. Like, Samurai is definitely mixing up his defense. Builds a little bit of V trigger and activates. And mm, 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 mm. I realized uh, uh, what, I, I went for a mix up there. Crouching heavy punch. That was kind of bad for me. And this was. Mm, that felt good. Because I almost. Every time I do like a heavy hail, it just gets blocked. Or, I mean, I just get hit by a fireball, but that was like the one time out of like 15 out of all these sets I've played against Samurai that uh, that it worked out. Um, but I want to say something about here. So right here, I did this combo because I was thinking that uh, Stab Stab might kill, but I looked at the life bar and I realized Stab Stab would not kill. So I just made up a mix up. Mm. Damn. Crush what counter the fireballs. What did he even hit? I just saw glass shatter in front of my eyes. There was no That's movement. what the sand roundhouses are for. Nice, he was ready for the EXL. In our uh qualifying matches in uh the West North America West qualifier, um he was not really challenging my EXL, but it looks like he's practiced reacting to that. So I I realized then that that could not be something that I relied on. Oh! <laughs> You've seen it before. You just seen it again. Say and I'll why. tell you, I look. Oh, we we had our calls open, like we had our videos in a Discord, so I could see his face at this point. I looked at his before face. Just he just had again. no emotion. Samurai. Was not very. Like it was not a good feeling. Be like and be like, this is nice whiff punish from nephew. That's me. I back up. I don't want to get side switched. A little late on the whiff punish. And watch the dash back. Baited. He saw me in range. He thought at this range, nephew cannot. At this range right here, nephew cannot anti-air me with that. But mmm. Back dash. Just to position myself in the correct spacing so that I could get a punish. Bop, 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 bop. Boop. 
bop, bop, bop. That is too much corner carry. And this is just, you know, sometimes Akuma gets you into these spots and you lose all your life. That happens. You just gotta shake that off. Look at me up in the top left. I'm shaking it off. Crouch heavy kick. Reading the shimmy. Try and go for the little mix up, but he blocked correctly. Nice confirm. So I can still win this round. If I get one good hit, I was reading the EX air fireball there. Did not come. He goes for a V reversal. Got the counter hit. I'm still very close to winning this round. Still very close. If I parry that, if I parry that, he wouldn't have died, but it would have been guess for game. How did he have like five V reversals? Bro, he V reversal like five times. Did you guys see that? Oh, and you can see the pain in my face. You guys see the pain? When my EX hands did not come out. That would have won me the game. And I would have been up 2-1. And instead I'm fighting another round. Oh, uh, he got a medium kick into side switch off of that, and this is, I have to challenge, I'm not, I'm not getting thrown five times. I'm not sure why he activated there, because that's punishable. I did the little step in case he delayed rise. DP. I just need one more hit. One more hit. Looking for a trade? Uh, he misspaced it. And you saw the breath, the sigh of relief on my face as I realized I hadn't choked. I felt like I choked the round before, but I didn't actually choke because I won the game anyways. And right here we're being patient. I don't want to go in and get hit into V-Trigger. I need to make this last a little bit of my V-Trigger count. So I'm looking for a confirm of some kind. I, I decide to spend it on the throw. Because now one hit into super or just raw super through a fireball is going to kill. So this takes away Akuma's options. I don't actually know why Samurai did this. I feel like it was not very smart. Because I still have a decent amount of life left. And I can still make this comeback. Um, but I make the wrong decision right here. I should have done... I should have done medium punch. I thought I thought, I thought I had like way more time. Like I didn't realize him laying on the ground would take this much time off the clock. Because I, I hit this combo with 7 seconds left. So I thought I would have time for one more hit. But I should have just reset with medium punch. So that he doesn't get to delay rise. And I go for another mix up immediately. And I am at disadvantage right now, but I have V-Trigger. Let's get this 3-1. I don't want to be at 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. Two, two is bad. 2-2 two, two is very bad. We want to be at 3-1. Can I get the Whiff Punish? Whiff Punish would be big here. If I get the Fierce. Ooh! You've never seen anyone shimmy like that as Colleen. And dang, that round went terribly for Samurai. He was up so much. Wow. But I go for this mix-up right here because he has activation available right so i need to close the round out as fast as possible i want to not give him the chance to activate i go for this mix up um and it should be a 50 50 he uh he's not really able to dp in time if he reads it and he goes for back fears maybe he can get the anti-air but right here i go for the cross up he dps too late and i get the kill at this point, 3-1, I'm feeling pretty comfortable. I I honestly did not expect to be in this situation where I would be one win, one game away from winning while Samurai needs three more. I'm one game away from winning $5,000. $5,000. That's a lot of money. V-Trigger through the fireball. He activates back throws me. This is not a very comfortable situation to be in, but I get out with my heavy EX vanity. That could have been a lot worse. Attempt to cross cut DP 
Go for the little stagger right there with the crouching medium punch. And he has super. This is kind of a bad situation for me to be in. I have no resources. I need like something big. And unfortunately my crouching light punch went the wrong way. Normally you try and crouching light punch the EX, uh, EX demon flip while he's going to the other side. But like the angle he was at made my crouching light punch go the wrong way. I don't think there was any one flaw that Samurai had in this set. It was just a couple of moments um, where he let me get the edge. I'm still at match point. So if I can take this game, $5,000. I'm in the corner. That's not good. Not a good situation to be in, but I get the jab, 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 EX hands. That was a weird combo. But I didn't, I didn't go any closer because otherwise he could get a side switch. So that's not that bad, but I'm getting back thrown a lot here. I just get thrown. It's Akuma in the corner. Very scary. With punish on the crouching medium kick. I spend the bars getting close to stun. I go for the air throw, but he light kicks a little early. Maybe I went for the air throw a little late. He's been jabbing a lot. I didn't actually check it enough this set, I think. I could have made my strings a little tighter. He chased me down. I did not expect him to do that. I was one hit away from dying and then going to 3-3. But if I if I win this round, I'll be on match point. Cross counter. Oh, I was baiting a V-reversal. That's why I did light vanity. He's been V-reversaling me a lot. There it is. Nephew, beat the EX fire or beat the regular fireball with my EX vanity. I'm back dashing in case he does air fireball so I can stab through it. I have a little bit of V trigger left. I have to make it count. And I want to save it. If I waste it immediately and get nothing out of it, then he just zones me out. And the sigh on my relief at that point, when he did the wrong combo, it, uh, I felt really good. I mean, that, like, it's not a strategy mistake that Samurai made there. It just, you know, he messed up. It happens. But it is set point for me. If I win this round, $5,000. I don't know if I can reiterate that enough. Standing heavy kick, he actually dashed into it. I was just looking for a fireball, but... But that works too. And I have him caged in the corner. If I did EX Vanity there, that would have been stunned. But I went for the EX Hail actually. And let's make our V Trigger count right here. If I make this V Trigger count and I win this game, side switch, he stays on the ground. Very smart from him. And on, I'm kind of regretting that. That I did that now because now I have no V trigger left. Five thousand dollars, not banana champagne PC. Five thousand US dollars. I can't anti air him because he has air fireball. If I get hit by air fireball, I die. But now he doesn't have it. The chase down. And the dash forward throw. Takes it over Samurai four to two. With an impressive four to two, all the way through with Sam. He's playing Mario Kart. Mario Kart double dash. Exactly. Yeah, let me let me go back and see the pop off. So what I did, I don't recommend everyone does. It's not for the faint of heart. But if you see Akuma with full super, you gotta make something happen. I wasn't just gonna get zoned out and get get super. Uh, with twenty seconds left, so I went in, I chased him down, and after the first one worked. Uh, I was just like, you know, let, let me do another one. Double dash forward. He's playing a different game. Another throw. You see me that in the top left. Nephew takes it over Samurai oh. four to two with an impulse. And with good old double dash throw into another good old dash into throw, I was able to defeat Samurai once again and take home five thousand dollars for myself. I even popped off, which I normally don't do. I was so stressed, but. 
I had a lot of fun. 